We are in a situation where uh, inflation is at double digits, interest rates are rapidly rising. The time for small steps is over. Giant leaps are needed. This uncertainty is leading to a tsunami that is wiping away and wiping off the value of houses, salaries and national budgets. We can keep our bills down, we can cushion the economic and social impacts of this crisis, we can make sure that our families, our businesses can pay their bills. But to do this, we need to do it together. We need to find common actions like we managed to find during the COVID crisis, like we are doing now as we continue to be united uh, with regards to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We need to be determined to make sure that we address our energy challenges. If we go about it together, our economies can grow together. If we stop outbidding each other, we can manage to keep the prices down. How is that, that the uh, solidarity will keep up? This will be our aim, my aim, as I speak now in a few minutes in the European Council, and I don't think we have any choice. I think the proposals we have on the table uh, are very good. Uh, we would like them to go further. We would like them to be deeper. We would like them to continue to show that Putin cannot win this war. The only way that we would be able to do that is that we can keep unity. And everybody you have heard today, and I have heard from today, and I'm sure we will hear in that room, will continue to, spend, to send that message as strong as possible. So I know that you're in a rush, and I also know how important no it is for you to have good relations with the United Kingdom, particularly in the context of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Liz Truss has announced she's resigning. This brings further uncertainty to the table. What do you make of this? Well, my first point would be that market volatility could cause democratic instability. Uh, and there are many lessons that could be learned uh, uh, around uh, the world, including in the European Union, for that, uh, on that regard. Uh, in my case, uh, as a leader of the European Parliament, UK-EU relations remain at the foremost of our priorities, making sure the protocol still stands and understanding the impact that Brexit has had uh, on UK citizens living in the EU, EU citizens living in the UK, and ongoing economic and trade ties. We would hope for a resolution to this, uh, let's say, domestic instability to be resolved uh, as, as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you insist that the Parliament is also involved in a new price cap? Um, I think that's right. Look, should we go back to normal or, again, Article 122? Well, first of all, we have been calling for a long time for a price cap. You can call it a dynamic price cap. We can call it any Anything that brings unity uh, of countries together in order for countries not to outbid each other. We have already seen that as soon as the new proposals were put on the table, prices started to stabilize. So that is a direct impact of our action. From a parliament point of view, first of all, of course, we look at what has to be done in the immediate term, in the medium term, and in the longer term. We are a co-legislator, which means that uh, Unless it is a strict legal basis of Article 122, we have delivered already very quickly on gas storage. We have delivered very quickly, actually today, on Repower EU. We will push through with accession uh, of Croatia to the Schengen area and have adopted resolutions for Romania and Bulgaria to join the Schengen area. We have shown effectiveness and efficiency, and I am convinced that we will continue to do that, which means that any legal basis can be used and we will deliver. Thank you very much. Quick. Quickly. Uh, South Russia is a terrorist sponsor. Yes. And uh, we will wait and expect for the resolution. For the resolution. Yes. What will be the main message for yes. the parliament? Russia is a terrorist country or sponsor of terrorism. I think it was important that there was this debate that was decided on Monday to have uh, such a discussion. At the end of the day, we need to ask ourselves a country that bombs uh, indiscriminately civilians, uh, women, and children, anybody going about their lives, going to school, going to work, I would call that terrorism. Okay, I need to go. Yes? Well, we will keep up the pressure. Uh, sanctions that were adopted are important. At the end of the day, we are seeing finally um, women that are, have the strength to stand up and fight for their liberty. We stand with that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a message to send to the leader having the meeting?
Well, I think it's an excellent uh, um, uh, meeting with high expectations. The European Parliament will be there um, with a very, very strong delegation. Uh, our recognition uh, of the country's um, ability uh, to help in this crisis, but also to be a partner for us. The European Parliament will be there, will be active, will be present, and will definitely be conducive to the conclusions that are found. Thank you. My hope is that for us never to let go of our ambitions. Uh, we need to prove to the world that we can take the next steps, and those steps will be taken even with the European Parliament at its core. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We just had a, um, a meeting of uh, leaders of the European People's Party where there was a reiteration of the commitment uh, of all parties uh, to remain pro uh, European. Pro I start again? Yes, I hope that uh, in, this, uh, in this summit we can, uh, we can uh, go away. May I just ask, Mr. President, I'm from the, the, I'm from the BBC. Yes, uh, it's just emerged that Liz Truss, the UK the Prime Minister, is resigning. Obviously, she's been in office a very short time are, and follows a political and economic turmoil in the, the UK. Just your, your reaction to the news. Well, first of all, I think it's a message that uh, market instability can bring about democratic instability. Uh, and I think it's a lesson that we can all learn uh, and uh, look at, uh, at in a Europe where uh, rhetoric can really bring uh, governments down. Uh, in my case, for the European Parliament, we continue to work with the EU-UK Joint Parliamentary Assembly. We will continue to insist uh, on uh, the language of the protocol as it was agreed. And we will continue to work with the UK as our partners, both from a trade perspective, from an intelligence sharing perspective, from a security perspective. So my hope will be that the... Um, uh, the, 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 the situation, the instability is resolved soon with the next Prime Minister. And, and sir, what do you mean by the rhetoric? Uh, what, what rhetoric are you referring to there in terms of what you think has had an impact on the politics? I, I think that uh, when we take decisions, especially economic ones, uh, we need to be very sure about the impact that they could have. And that is why we here are discussing about markets responding to what uh, politicians do. That's our responsibility so to our leadership. So how budget you're referring to? I would refer to all economic um, uh, um, decisions that could lead to democratic and market instability. And just briefly back to that question on Bert and Sylvia Berlusconi. So what was the outcome of that meeting? Will he be removed? The European People's Party uh, is a meeting that I just uh, had uh, um, attended in and I can confirm that uh, there is the strongest of unity uh, in a pro-European uh, representatives of parties across uh, the European Union, especially with regards with the reaction to Ukraine uh, and the situation that is going on with, the, with Russians' uh, illegal and brutal invasion. Nothing to the contrary emerged and that is something that I can confirm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, okay, quickly. Just briefly, one question. Is it time to forget about a European solution to the rising energy prices and just go alone? If anything, I would say more Europe than ever. That is what our citizens want, that is what our citizens need. Thank you very much.